Hey, it's the Doc Ron here, and today I am going to be doing an agitated exotic. I'm very nervous about this, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure what's going to happen. This is my fit. I'll go ahead and post that in the description. Um, wish me luck. If you'd like to support my channel, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. Let's go. All right, here we go. No turning back now. All right, what's the first room? Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and orbit that guy at 30. Go ahead and turn our all right so I believe that is a repping ship not entirely sure but we will find out we're gonna go ahead and try to take him out with our drones and when these other guys get close enough we'll go ahead and take them out with our guns So far, plan seems to be working okay. Oh, we got some drone aggro here. Let's go ahead and bring those guys back in. And that one is out of range. So let's go ahead and hit this one. Nope. He is out of range right now too, so let's try this. There we go. Put our drones back out. And let's go ahead and turn that on for a minute here. Let's turn our second one on. And let's go ahead and put that on there too. Let's see if we can get rid of that. And let's go ahead and start approaching that. There we go. Take that guy out now. All right, so um, that one wasn't terribly bad. The fit did pretty well. So definitely happy. All right. So we are not going to worry about any of the other things because I am not sure how long this is going to take me so let's go ahead and shut all of that down for right now so tracking pylons I do not need to worry about because those don't seem to shoot anything out so I guess it's a what is it a suppressor if you know let me know in the comments I think it's a suppressor whatever that shoots out all of the shrapnel that tears your drones apart <clears throat> so now that we are done with that let's go ahead let's throw our drones onto the bioadaptive lovely make our way there let's see what the loot fairy brings us we are probably looking at about five minutes total in here, which isn't too bad, I don't think, for a T2. So, definitely not going to complain. And that room definitely could have been a lot worse. All right, come on. The little V and I that could. I think I can. I think I can. Come on, let's go, let's go. Time is a ticking. Tick tock, said the clock. Tick tock. All right. 
So we have 1 million even. Nothing great. Let's go ahead and reload. I'm almost thinking of getting rid of the void. Um, it seems like when the current ones, when the null aren't hitting, the void can't hit either. So I'm kind of thinking about getting rid of those altogether and just not having them. All right. So we have, all right. So we got a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead. Let's orbit this guy at 10. Pull up our small guys. This one could hurt. There is a lot of... The spikes could really hurt. Spike damage. Not spike damage, but um, how they ramp up. So this could... Hurt. We need to try to get these guys down as quick as we can. All right, who has me? The warden. So we're just going to bring that one back in. There we go. Put those out. Bring you back in. All right, so not horrible. We're, we're slowly getting there. All right, get rid of this escort. Now, let's pull you back in. So that's the big thing with this group here is just trying to keep an eye on your drones. So you're not losing them. The repper is keeping up with the damage. I'm currently only needing one repper, which is really saving on my cap. Bring them back in. And let's go with our Vespa. Let's try to speed this up a little bit and see what happens. All right, we are gonna go ahead and start heading over to the bioadaptive. There we go. All right, so that one really wasn't horrible either. So far this fit is doing well. We are sitting at the just shy of 8 minutes. So it looks like we'll be out of this room in 5 minutes as well. So go ahead and send <clears throat> send those over into there. There we go. So I was really hoping with a T2 I'd be getting a larger payout than a mill. I mean, I granted, I know it's a cruiser but still um you got to have really good skills from what i understand to be using uh you know a frigate in here so i would think that the um loot would be a little bit higher i mean as it stands right now to me um i'm still better off running t1s and t0s in frigates than running a T2. I know that people are going to tell me 
T4s, T5s, T6s is where it's at. But that's also a huge investment. Eventually, I would like to get there. But man, oh man, um, I thought I'd be making more in these T2s than I am. All right, so we have a battleship. So we are going to go ahead and orbit... So we got damps on us. Let's go ahead and throw out our things. We just got to watch for our, whoa. All right, taking some big hits. And I'm going to until I get close enough to that battleship. So hopefully I can keep the reps going until I can get there. All right. Damage is shrinking a bit. Go ahead and send those over. Go ahead and orbit him at five. All right, we're going to turn one repper off to save on cap. All right. Almost wondering if it'd be better to have my heavies on, but they're they're not doing bad. As soon as I get in a little bit closer, I'll be able to start doing damage with my gun as well. I am sitting good on time. All right. We are sitting. We got eight minutes and 20 seconds left, so we are good on that. He should start to kind of melt once we get through his shields, which we are. So I'm going to turn that off because it doesn't look like I need that anymore. And we just got to be careful we don't hit the end of that room. So let's... There we go. I am going to turn away from him right now because he is going down, but I don't want to hit that barrier. We're going to go ahead and let them finish him off. <coughs> awesome, awesome. All right. We have seven minutes since we're close to this thing. I'm going to send my drones over there to get it. Let's see if there's any loot in it. I'm not going to go for that farther one but let's let's go for that one if there's something in it nope all right so we'll send our drones over to this guy And we'll see, since that one is kind of close to the other one, we should have time. We'll see if there's something in there. But we do, do, we definitely need to keep an eye on time. We got six minutes and 33 seconds. And nothing. All right, so. It's a good thing we didn't actually travel all the way out there. That would have sucked. Um, very disappointed with the um, lack of loot in here for this. Um, I may have to see. These might be better running a destroyer. Though I don't know if I could have handled the damage um, from those with a destroyer. Because I just kind of... I got over half armor with the... Um, 
VNI, and that's pretty pretty good armor tank. And um, I got to over half armor, so um, if you have a fit that you know works in a destroyer for a T2, um, let me know in the comments. Um, I would be interested in it. I got to make sure I have the skills because I am not going to attempt a T2 in a destroyer where I don't quite have the skills. But um, definitely interested to see what the difference is. 800k. So yeah, that one is just wow. Um, for the amount of ISK, I want to say it was somewhere around... 170 180 with everything um while it does hold up it is going to be a lot of um <laughs> a lot of runs to make sure that i to even come out even with it so that is that let's see what did we get all together we got three Blueprints, which really aren't worth anything, and 2.64 mil in loot. So, definitely um, not really worthwhile. So, that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and press the like button. Then press that subscribe button. Let me know how I'm doing. Let YouTube know how I'm doing. And then there's that good old notification button to let you know when I post new content or when I go live. So. With that being said, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and as always, fly dangerous.